I'm Joe, and thanks for watching another episode of Comfortably Sophisticated. I am still in my daughter's poof chair, and I'm drinking a glass of bourbon. And I'm recording a couple of these episodes back to back. So this happens to be the same glass of bourbon that I had in one of my other episodes. I'll let you go through, check the wardrobes, maybe you can decipher which two were recorded back to back. Unfortunately, I don't have any giveaways, I'm not sponsored. I don't have anything to hand out, so if you find out, feel free to comment on it, and I'll give you kudos. Um, this, I'm hoping, will be a little bit shorter. Um, this is just a small little point, uh, something that a friend and I uh, had a conversation around this summer, uh, and it was just kind of an interesting observation. Um, it's Again, it came up in cross-country mountain biking, uh, in a race, you know, race performance, uh, race results, that kind of stuff. Um, but I do think that it has broader application than that, and, and a, a you know more generalist um, you know understanding. Um, but the premise of the idea was we were talking about our race results, and a friend of mine had done actually two of my friends had done really well at Board Shore, um, top twenty, and. I had done okay, um, but it wasn't um, necessarily an A race, or at least it wasn't an A race that I had been able to properly train for, at least uh, taper for. Um, but I had done well, and we were all have you know happy with our outcomes. And the realization uh, was that we were going to head back home. Um, the race is on a Saturday, so we were having a beverage on Saturday night and Sunday we were all gonna drive home and you know make it to our homes and go to work on Monday and then going to work on Monday we were gonna kind of quietly go into the office and go about our business and I work in a small office and I do have really good coworkers and they do ask about my races and they you know are interested in hearing the results and they celebrate victories with me but for a lot of people, they work for a fairly, you know, larger organization and everybody has lives and you walk into the office and mountain biking is not simply a big enough sport that everybody's paying attention to. And it's as, it's as if your coworkers don't really care. And it's not that they don't, it's just that they don't know. <laughs> and so if you're into racing and you, you know, are really excited about a accomplishment, whether it's, you know, doing your first 100 mile mountain bike race and completing it under a certain amount of time or, you know, winning your class at a, a local race or winning even the series of races, um, you know, your coworkers aren't going to notice. And the thing that kind of came out to me with that is that my coworkers also then do things that are important to them. Um, and so the realization was, I need to spend a little bit of time learning what those things are for them um, because I do think that's pretty powerful and kind of fun um, if you can celebrate the outside of work personal accomplishments um, that that people um, that people achieve you know there's a lot of runners um, and a lot of, um, of running events um, you know and now a days with technology it's so much easier to kind of track and follow co-workers you know in their in their events like that because you can look up the results online or if you follow them on one of the you know um, uh, health apps you know Strava or Matt My Run or Matt My Fitness or whatever and no Mondo or whatever that is um, you know just something to think about maybe follow some of your co-workers and you know give them kudos when when they've done well um, but it was just kind of a funny conversation. Um, my friend and I were having uh, over over a beer um, that, you know, we were all excited about what it, what it was, but at the end of the day, we're gonna go back to work on Monday and it wasn't gonna mean anything. So not to make that a downer, I think that's both a lovely thing that we enjoy a sport that's not, um, that is kind of on the fringe, or at least it's you know kind of on the cusp. It's kind of a newer thing uh, to be a part of a sport that's doing that. Um, but um, 
yeah, uh, just kind of a fun little thing that that we uh, we had a conversation around. So I thought it was worth uh, I thought it was worth throwing out. So we love I'd love to hear from you if um, any of your coworkers know uh, about your riding. Uh, if any of them pay attention, maybe you have coworkers that do ride. Um, that makes that a lot easier. But love to hear your experiences if you're one of the only riders in your office and what that's like. Um, so. For now, uh, I'll leave it there, and this is just another uh, episode of Comfortably Sophisticated.